exactly right. No easy road, that's for sure. Welcome, welcome to Tarek Solak Promotions. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Talking about Tarek Solak Promotions, let's, let's not forget the $1 million next year that we're putting up for a 76 kilo tournament, which will happen in 10 countries, and the final bout will see a million dollars. The time for talk is over. Main event, and Steve McKinnon opens up both right hand, high rib kick on Anthony, the bull of Athens, Zoros. Well, Zoros, big upper body, powerful upper body. Big lats, big back. It's got to lend itself to generating a lot of power with the punches, so Zoros, and his legs are okay. He hasn't got overly uh, oversized legs, so I don't know how how powerful his kicks are going to be, but certainly his hands are going to be uh, loaded Whoa. up. Big. We see some big swings there, boys. Huge swings there from Anthony Zoros, the Bull of Athens. Steve McKinnon relying on his kicks so far, those powerhouse round kicks of his he's so renowned for. Great counter fighting. A real strategist is uh, McKinnon. Brother Stuart McKinnon in the corner. Zoros, seeing what the Aussies got to offer. Zoros may have the strength in the hands. McKinnon's got the strength in the legs. Big rib kick again to that already reddened right rib cage of the Bull of Athens. Uppercut from Steve McKinnon. Coming off a win in Las Vegas only a month and a half ago. Wild overhand right from the Bull of Athens. Oh, it's hanging right hand. McKinnon caught him. Zoros is on rubber legs. He's doing the chicken dance in center ring. He's going to get the count, Zoros. Three. He's in all sorts of bother. McKinnon has lost no yes. speed, no Six. power. He's right Seven. back where he has yeah. been. Just when we were expecting a big right hand from Zoros, he got tagged with a big right hand. Wow. The Bull of Athens was doing the chicken dance, and here comes Steve McKinnon. Zoros is going to compose himself, try and see out the round. McKinnon's looking for the big kibosh now. Overhand right from Zoros. The distancing wasn't right. Yeah, but it was great strategy from McKinnon. As soon as Zoros threw the right hand, McKinnon, lead round kick. The ribs were exposed of Zoros. He's switching up, lead kicking to the ribs of Zoros. That's a great strategy from McKinnon. Great tie style. Zoros is very fearful of these round kicks of Steve McKinnon here in the opening round, Tarek. I'd like to see if Zoros can survive this round. What his corner will tell him to do for the next round coming up because he's got very experienced cornermen in his corner. One of them is Iron Mike Zambidis, his trainer, and the other one is a great trainer from uh, Athens, uh, Yanni. Both uh, great, great trainers, but Zoros has to survive this round before we can get to the next round for talks. Oh, right hand again. Smack bang on the schnoggin from McKinnon. He opens up now. McKinnon raining in blows on the Bull of Athens. Oh, he's a tough boy, though, Zoros. He's won some big shots, Michael and Tarek, and he's still there. Yes, uh, I, I was told by him that he's a very tough heavyweight, so uh, that's what he's shown here today. But then again, you're fighting against a great fighter like Steve McKinnon, and I'll tell you what, he's got some big kicks and big punches. End of the first yeah. round, they go to the towels. Well, it's all McKinnon that round. But uh, Zoros will go to his corner, Tarek, and as you said, they're going to call up uh, all sorts of strategy for him now. And he's, but here comes Steve McKinnon here, and I think we will be probably seeing that knockdown that we saw before, or the big punch, sorry, the eight count. There, there it is. Big right hand. He just distanced himself right, and Zoros was in a lot of trouble after he caught that right hand plumb. Well, it's, okay. great to see a great, it's great to see a great fighter survive that round. We are ready to roll second round of action. The voice Michael Chevello, the super promoter Tarek Solak, the hammer Mark Castanini, ringside from the Enmore Theatre, and an upending kick there from Steve McKinnon. Yes, and let's not forget, while well, I got a chance, November 7, Michael Zambidis versus Karamurat, the rematch from Athens. The only man to damage Michael Zambidis ever in a fight. Karamurat will rematch Zambidis in November 7. The first time they fought, he only had one week's notice with a reserve fighter. Let's see what happens the next time. And we'll be back in the center ring here. Two big heavyweights clashing with big punches and kicks. Wow. The Bull of Athens trying to juke it out here with McKinnon, but he can't sit against the ropes hammer and let McKinnon tee off on him with those wicked round kicks. Well, McKinnon's still dictating this fight. He's got Zoros on the back foot, and you can really, you can see in Zoros' face, he doesn't know what he has to do to, to get McKinnon to back off. McKinnon is still initiating. He's, he's launching the attacks first and basically just beating Zoros to the punch and the kick almost every time. You don't want this fight going to the third round, Mark, because... Uh, Zoros will uh, grow uh, courage and he will probably turn this fight around because he has got big punches. Now, while Steve has got the upper hand here and he's already made him 
worry a little bit. I think you should take, make, make the best of it and try to put him away. Just uh, go for broke, you think, Tarek? Throw, throw caution to the wind and try and knock him in the second round. That's what I would be doing if I was him. You shouldn't let him back in the fight. He's a dangerous fighter, this Zoros. Outside thigh kick there to the reddened lead thigh of Anthony Zoros. The Bull of Athens has taken enormous punishment, but he is still standing and he still possesses that evil overhand right of his. Can he get it on the jaw of the some, taller Steve McKinnon? There's been some huge shin clashing too. You know, some of those leg kicks have been powered up 100%, and uh, there's been some huge clashes. McKinnon is picking apart that right rib cage of the Bull of Athens. Overhand right there from Zoros. Almost got him, Tarek. Yes, and uh, while I've got this opportunity, I'd like to thank all our sponsors, especially our major sponsor, Crazy Johns and Red Dragon and UBI Television and Ultra Trin and Ultra Hand Triple M. Oh. oh, front kick, smack bang on the centre of that Crazy Johns logo. And also our spa, new sponsors from Turkey. So I'd like to thank Ardan and I would like to thank every other sponsor, Ayan Sayer and Confoy. Comfly.com. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for all your generous support. McKinnon coming forward here on the Bull of Athens. What Soros got, he's trying to plant that right hand, trying to set himself for the big boom shakalaka. McKinnon wants to launch that rear right round kick hammer or maybe switch up off the lead leg. McKinnon's like a surgeon. He's absolutely picking every shot. He's not wasting any shots. Everything is strategically planned and it's all plan to do maximum damage and that's why you know steve mckinnon is such a dangerous fighter gentlemen uh, also that million dollar tournament next year we're hoping to get into uh egypt and lebanon as uh, our sponsor ubua is uh, helping us there and, uh, we've got a few things happening down there so it'll be great to see these new countries like egypt lebanon turkey greece where there's a lot of great fighters with big hearts and uh, they're just looking for that opportunity to come down and, and i tell you what when there is one million dollars involved i can promise you they will rock the boat there anyone that's under 76 kilos and is interested put your name down for one million great dollars and you can be in the draw and i will be the number one promoter in the world i am number two at the moment but when i pay someone a million bucks i promise you i'll be number one what was that weight 76 so kilos, Mark, you can't lose away. Away. I'll start dieting. <laughs> <again. laughs> so, one million great dollars, one Tarek Solid dollars. Promotions, 2006. <laughs> Ten new countries. A1 rocks the world. OK, we are ready to rock into round, round number, number three of five. Our main event as Tarek Solak, the promotional live wire, rips off the headphones, <laughs> Hammer. And That's we're back Soros. to just the two of us, Hammer. Zoros has landed some big shots. McKinnon's got a slow cut over his knee. It's just you and me, Chevalier. It's all happening <laughs> it's how we like in it. the main event. <laughs> and have a look at the Bull of Athens charging across the ring. And this is what Tarak said Steve McKinnon may have to be wary of, is that Zoros could start to find his confidence here in the third, well, having already worn the freshest and the most powerful of McKinnon's selbos. Well, I tell you what, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing Steve McKinnon and I'm thinking the carnage. I'm thinking the carnage and McKinnon, man, what a war that would be. Oh, there's a big clash, a big shin clash. Oh, McKinnon's Zoros trouble. scores one back himself! As I said, there's a big, been some big shin clashing in this one. Some absolutely devastating shin clashing. And, the, and yet again, they've done it and they're both starting to pay the price now. They, those legs are going to be really hurting. Now, McKinnon actually has a small cut just on either knee. So that's interesting. That's, and that's been from some of those clashes. I'll tell you what, those bones have got to be bruised and battered and real sore. Now, I reckon if the Bull of Athens goes to that lead leg again of McKinnon, McKinnon may be in some real bother. It's the, it's the shin, though, that's that's the problem area, not the thigh. So if he kicks him in the thigh, what you, what you might see McKinnon do now is not check, not, not counter those thigh kicks anymore. So you're right, there's, there's a bit of a strategy there if, if the, uh, the Greeks' corner is smart enough to pick it up. But McKinnon is still initiating. He's still, uh, he's still taking it right up to the Greek and pushing him back onto the ropes. Axe kick there from McKinnon. High left round kick from Super Steve. Jab two from McKinnon. The Bull of Athens wears it. Hook outside, thigh kick from McKinnon. More combinations than a bank safe. Jab from McKinnon. And you just see Steve McKinnon putting that pain to the back of his mind and just still working that lead leg. He'll worry about the pain tomorrow. The Bull of Athens needs to throw something now, Hammer. He's sitting back. There's the overhand right. That's what he was setting himself for. McKinnon the, cracks away the, lead the outside lead, lead there's thigh. A, there's a problem with the lead thigh on, on the Anthony Zoros. 
He's going to go after it now. McKinnon. McKinnon bomb high, really chop low. Shots down on the ball of Athens. Zoros forced to cover up. The end is Here nigh, comes Michael. Steve McKinnon. The end is nigh for Anthony Zoros, I feel. Here comes McKinnon. Go, sunshine. Steve McKinnon. Cracking away at Zoros. I commentated you to victory Three. last time. Steve and I Four. made to it again. Five. The ball of Athens in Six. some trouble right. in the neutral corner. Seven. Eight. Yep. Zoros raises his hand. It's Can a chance of Steve chopping that lead thigh. He's going to go after it for sure. Oh, Zoros's left thigh has been left more exposed than Janet Jackson's nipple. There's the end of the round. <laughs> Hammer, it's all Steve McKinnon. Well, great moments in TV and great moments in the fight game for this main event with the warrior Anthony Zoros taking an absolute beating, an absolute battering at the hands of the Aussie Steve McKinnon. While the Bulldog, boy, the Bulldog boys are right in the zone for this one. And Steve McKinnon has certainly come to the party. There you see the chopping uh, shin clash. And McKinnon unloading high, trying for the axe kick. All sorts of technique angles that work coming from McKinnon tonight. And Anthony Zoros has absorbed a hell of a lot of pain. There's a big right hand and that's got pain written all over it. Chops to the ribs, upstairs, downstairs, the body snatcher, Steve McKinnon, worked all range of attack in that round. Round number four of five. McKinnon again picking up where he left off, going to the thighs. And then up to the head of the Bull of Athens. Zoros being backed against the oh. right, takes it up again, almost put his nose out of whack. And the Bull of Athens rolls back with an overhand right. McKinnon only a slip. Chevalo gets a little over articulated <laughs> on that one hammer. I'll tell you what, this the one is brutal. Are you also getting a workout? It's brutal and uh, one feels it hasn't got a long way to go. The Bull of Athens isn't seeing red. He's chalking his top lip, he's red. Well, the player is starting to flow from the nose of Anthony Zoros. Overhand right from Zoros. And he got caught with the uppercut and that's what's uh, busted his nose up. Big leg kick from McKinnon, right in front of our commentary position. Oh, the sweat and the blood is flying off the bull and onto us, Hammer. That leads somewhere else, Bull of Athens. Troy Speed puts the count on him. And there's Five, blood all over the monitor here. It's on the camera, Seven, actually, Mike. Right. <laughs> Eight, yeah, yeah. And on the monitor. One good reason always to wear dark colours. Ringside as the towel's oh, been thrown. It's good. You see McKinnon going bombing now. The uppercut smashed, split, and spread the nose of Anthony Zoros all over his face, chopping the leg. The thigh kick is bruised and battered. Ice is going to be that his, his thigh's best friend tomorrow, and indeed in about two minutes, I reckon. And there's McKinnon taking Anthony Zoros apart in the neutral corner to end the fight. The